it was very tough to breathe. Um, it felt like I was trying to pick up a thousand pound weight when I was just doing things that normally, you know, I wouldn't even breathe heavy trying to do. My name is Mike Clementi. In 2017, I was treated for a primary mediastinal large B-cell lymphoma at Monmouth Medical Center. My wife and my daughter, Emily, who's 18 months old, mean the world to me. Uh, they're the first things that I think about when I wake up, the last thing that I think about before I go to bed. He's a great teacher. He is a great role model for his players and his students. I'm a teacher at Central Regional High School, and I am the head varsity boys basketball coach. Those kids are important to him. You know, he loves what he does. He went to Central Regional, so he knows the ins and the outs. He played the game there. Let's go. Deep down inside, you know, you just you just know something something was off. He's fun and energetic, and that's how we knew he was sick because that all went away. I went to you know a lot of different doctors, and they kept telling me that everything was fine. And then I finally went to um, a pulmonologist who looked at a chest X-ray, and it took him you know a split second to to say, Mike, sit down. We have we have a really serious problem here. I had a tumor in my chest. It was about the size of a softball. It was so big that it was pressing against a couple of my main arteries around my heart. That's when I met my oncologist, Dr. Seth Cohen, who I can't say enough kind things about. What a wonderful guy, tremendous doctor. And he said, Mike, listen, this is, this is what the plan's gonna be. We're gonna stick to it and, and you're, gonna, you're gonna beat this thing. We were focused, we were determined. That day that we found out he had cancer, it was on. We had to get started right away because it is a, Pretty, um, pretty aggressive disease. So the way that they treat it is a very aggressive type of chemotherapy. I got hospitalized at Monmouth Medical Center and we started the whole chemo regimen two days after that. The nurses were tremendous, keeping me in good spirits and being positive throughout the whole thing because there was a lot of, a lot of dark days and, and you know tough moments, but they were always there for me and um, they knew exactly the right things to do at exactly the right times. You know, they just, they put everything into their patients and we saw that, you know, firsthand. You would go to the hospital five days, you'd stay there, get chemo 24 hours a day, um, and then you'd come home for 16 days and that was considered to be one cycle and I went through six of those cycles. There were sick, sick days um, and he, he never complained. He was so good, so strong. When we got the scan results back, there was no active cancer within the tumor. Uh, it wasn't in any of the lymph nodes anymore and everything was clear. Uh, you know, as an athlete, you always set goals. And I set, I set a goal for myself when I was going through the chemo that uh, I want to make the first day of practice. I, I want to be there for the first day of practice. I don't want to miss anything. Seeing the kids' faces and, and seeing, them, seeing them get after on the court uh, made that day a lot, a lot easier and I was able to get, to get through it. When I got the head coaching job at Central, I wanted to start doing something that I could give back. And we thought about developing a showcase where we play five, six games, and you know we'd make some money for some kind of charity. Once I was you know diagnosed and going through all this, I decided uh, that money that we raised was going to go to Monmouth Medical Center, Monmouth Medical Foundation, um, you know, for cancer research and help families in need. You never think you know, this could happen to you. And when it does, you're kind of numb. And I'll be honest, for the first day, I felt, so I felt sorry for myself. The next morning I woke up and I looked myself in the mirror and I said, listen, you gotta be strong for your family. Let's take this head on. Let's look at it like the athlete that you are and the way that you've always approached things that um, it's a challenge, it's adversity, but when you're dealing with adverse moments, that's when you're at your best and that's when you step up. I, I, I decided I'm gonna beat this thing because I have to be there for my family. RWJ Barnabas Health, let's be healthy together.